Prepping for the near future is a kind of smart thing to do and well if you use this guide when that next major patch hits whenever that may be this November you'll be sitting on a gold mine. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So with the recent addition to try out new content to come with the public test realm server people were sharp enough to check recipes to see if anything had changed and what do you know they had and it seems as though to make more or less every main health or mana potion and many other things you need a new potion called the infused alkahist or just the alkahist as well as a few other ingredients but the main thing here is the alkahist i'm hope i'm pronouncing that right i'm probably not that's usually the case this itself needs to be crafted and to craft this you need a few things water as of water but the main ingredient here is hysop and well guys hysop is what i truly recommend you gathering and storing until this update comes now hysop comes from herb plants and herbs can be found literally everywhere but never really in massive quantities today i will showcase you some amazing spots some amazing farming spots but i will tell you before you head here and pick a spot to farm also check your service trading post for which herbs sell best and use this to influence your decision in where to go to farm because herbs behold other exclusive herbs which drop and they are exclusive to that certain area today i will showcase to you farms in monarchs first light everfall and ebon scale now all herbs will give you that high stuff but like i said they also drop exclusive herbs too first light will see you earning cinnamon dill nutmeg and saffron Monarch's Bluff will drop Peppercorn, Oregano and Paprika. Everfall will drop Garlic, Sage and Basil and Ebon Scale will drop Thyme and Ginger. So check your service or prices on these herbs too. If prices are higher on some you may as well travel to said farms to be more efficient on yourself. But it is up to you. All farms today behold many herb plants. But the best is definitely Ebon Scale in terms of quantity. Ok so on screen now you can see the location of herbs in Monarch's Bluff. This area does have a load of bunches of herb plants but it is one of the more popular areas so there may be other people here. On screen now you can see the spot within first light. Way less people farm this spot, especially on my server and it's home to a ton of herb plants. On screen now is a great spot within Everfall. Head here guys and farm that herb. And lastly, this spot within Leban Scale. This area is literally full of herbs, but there are a couple of stronger enemies up here uh, that might give you trouble if you ain't on level with them. But yeah, guys, use these, stack up on that high stuff, store it until the update arrives, and then put that up for sale. And I hope this guide helps you out, people. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.